Hi, I'm Aiden from Mid-Atlantic Water, and today we're going to talk about the four most common problems you face living on well water. Number one is acid water. Number two is iron in the water. Number three is hard water. And number four is bacteria in your water supply. So the most common problem we deal with here at Mid-Atlantic Water is acidic water. And the reason you have acidic water is because there's a lack of limestone in the aquifer that supplies your well. And the way we treat acidic water is with an acid neutralizer. And just so you know, acid water causes a host of problems. It causes corrosion of your plumbing and water using appliances. It causes corrosion of the fixtures, your shower heads, your sinks, your faucets, the inner workings of your toilets, dishwasher, washing machine, etc. And one of the most visual problems, if you're in an older home with copper plumbing, you're gonna see blue-green stains on the tub in the shower that you use most often. So you might be asking, how does an acid neutralizer work? Basically, you install the acid neutralizer after your pressure tank. That's the blue tank in the basement that you don't see very often. Water passes through that tank, and that tank is filled with food-grade calcium, which is natural limestone. As the water passes through, it slowly dissolves the limestone in the tank and raises the pH to neutral, eliminating corrosion of your plumbing and your water using appliances. The second most common problem we deal with is iron in your water. And here are the telltale signs. You're gonna see brown stains in the tubs, the showers, the toilets that you use most often because once it oxidizes out, it causes a reddish brown stain. Along with those problems, you can also taste iron. It tastes like a nosebleed. The solution to iron in the water is an iron filter. We use the Catalog Slate 2510 AIO system, which is the best iron filter that we've ever used in the 30 years that I've been in the industry. So this is how it works. Iron passes through the tank, tank pulls all the iron out, and this does this over and over again, and every so often the system's gonna go through a regeneration process where it cleans all the captured iron out and sends it down your wastewater drain. The third, and this is probably one of the most common problems in the United States, is hard water. And every water supply has some level of hardness, whether it's two grains per gallon, or 80 grains per gallon, depending upon where you are in the United States. And it can occur on well and city water, but we see it more on well water. These are the telltale signs you have hardness in your water. Number one, you're gonna see scale buildup on your fixtures, like your shower heads, your sinks, your faucets. You're gonna get soap scum buildup from it in the tub and the shower that you use most often. And you also get hard water buildup in the toilets that you use most often. And here's how we treat it. We use a water softener. It's one of the most common things used in the water treatment industry. The tank is filled with little resin beads and those resin beads have a positive charge from a salt solution we call brine. As water passes through those resin beads, they're like little magnets and they pull the hardness out. And every so often when the bed itself reaches exhaustion, it'll go into a regeneration cycle and it'll use a salt solution from the salt tank next to the system to recharge those resin beads and get it ready for its next period of operation. So the fourth and the final problem that we deal with the most is bacteria in the water. And it's usually one of two forms, coliform, which is the most common, and fecal, and fecal, well, we all know what that is. That usually occurs from old septic tank that's now leaking and leaching uh, waste, human waste into the ground, which trickles down into your aquifer and then comes into your house. And once that happens, bacteria will colonize in the plumbing and it'll get to a certain level, which is unsafe for human consumption. Now here's the thing, bacteria itself, you can't see it, you can't taste it, you can't smell it. And usually the most common issue that people have with bacteria in the water is stomach and intestinal issues. You get flu-like, stomach flu-like symptoms, and they just go on and on and on. A lot of times doctors, unless they're in an area where there's a lot of wells, don't have a clue. So if you're experiencing that or you have kids that are getting sick all the time, call a state certified lab in your area and have the water tested for coliform and fecal bacteria. Now how do we treat bacteria? We're gonna install a UV light. A UV light is about a two foot long stainless steel chamber, two inches in diameter, which has a, a UV bulb housed inside a crystal. The water passes around that crystal. The structure of the DNA of the bacteria is disrupted rendering it dead. Good clean water, safe to drink, safe to use for cooking, no issues. This sounds like a whole bunch of problems that sounds like a lot to digest and take in at one time, but here's what we recommend. As soon as you move into a house that's on a well, 
have all these basic things tested for. Test for pH, iron, hardness, and bacteria. If any of those problems come back positive, you want to treat that right away to avoid all these future headaches. And the way you do that is by installing a water treatment system. I'm Aiden from Mid-Atlantic Water. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or want to talk to me personally, all of our contact information is in the link below. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.